Alright, so welcome back. Last time we left off, I had just turned in the quest to um, stop the raiders from the village up north, which um, strengthened the Minutemen. Uh, while off camera, I did uh, bring back my uh, suit, which turns out that the fusion core can actually be drained. And when it does, it, you can't use um, vats in it. You are moving at a slower rate. Um, I also did all the planting, so the food here is good. They're happy with the amount of food I got them. I did give them a variety, well, small one. Hey, Sturgis. Well, this place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. What sort of defenses did you have in mind? Walls, sandbags, turrets, whatever you can put together. Alright, so now we're going with the defenses. Just go with a standard uh, turret. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll just do that. Uh, Sturgis. Thanks for doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Home. Feels good. Now what's next? What next? Well, I guess figuring out how to get back to living instead of just surviving. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. My door is always open to you. Windows, too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. <laughs> Take care now. Alright, so we completed Sanctuary. I mean, they're not the greatest, but no better than nothing. We're gonna go with gun nuts. I like how these have a little bit of a noise. Well, that's pretty interesting. Uh, I'd better get some charisma up here. <laughs> What's our quest? First steps. Okay. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet. But once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. So, there's something I need to ask you. I guess you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. But I never really told you what happened to us. I figured you'd tell me when you were ready. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre?
What was it? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Where the Minutemen betrayed each other and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? Don't give up. As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up, but I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. That means a lot coming from you, Garvey. I appreciate that. Does that mean you'll do it? Sure. Okay. I'll do it. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen. And the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. <laughs> That's quite a promotion you just gave me. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's <laughs> your job to make it more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. Once you clear it out, Set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm not quite ready to start building settlements yet. I mean, let's see. Yeah, this settlement's just really happy. It's time for some exploring. It's kind of cool. It says it's cleared, even though I didn't clear it. But it looks like a big thing on my list is going to be duct tape and wonder glue. Begin the exploring. Let's also make sure our gun's fully loaded. Alright, so let's see if there's anything salvageable here. It seems like you won't be able to carry around many weapons and that stuff because uh, you're going to be uh, scavenging it more. Take that. Whoa! These guys are a lot stronger. <laughs> Thank you. 
Come on, just die. I broke both my legs. <laughs> Whoops. I'll drink a Nuka Cola. We'll take a stamp pack. Man, that was crazy. Those red roaches had so much HP. And it says I'm in danger. Look at that, the caution bar is sliding out and now I'm hidden. That was cool. That is neat. This is the Jasper's brother place. I wonder if they're friendly or not. You guys didn't notice at the bottom I had lost a rad, so over time you do lose rads. Lord, these things are annoying. the atomic <laughs> sounds like that cult uh, from uh, Fallout 3 so I'm definitely gonna be needing to look out for like a couple of Grenade, huh? Does look like you do go full life uh, when you level up. Alright, so my pistol uh, now has more ammo than that uh, rifle. Says there's another factory over here. I'm guessing that's it right there. Was that the factory I was in over oh, what ready? a military signal over in that direction.
So yeah, I'm guessing that's the factory where the bandits were at. Uh, really need to figure out uh, good places to scavenge. So definitely not messing around this time. Commencing lawful use of deadly force. What? doing absolutely no damage to those. It is cool to see that uh, monsters will attack uh, the monsters, like uh, the death car was attacking uh, the raiders, now those robots were attacking the raiders. That's a really nice feature. I love that. Uh, Not expecting that. And I think I'm going to actually level up and put a point into medicine. It's only a 10% increase? Hmm... That's actually not that great. I think I will actually put the point into this. Definitely both of these seem to be really good. Like, I'm really lucky. Good lord. Research test tube. Okay, well, that's probably glass. And glass, I think, is going to be important. So, I already pissed off the ghouls. No need to go sneaking around. Unlock the college square. Build watch, duct tape, screwdriver. Alright, we'll, we'll just take that because it looks like everything in these crafting boxes are uh, needed. Keep 
hearing noises, so I'm not alone. That's a trap. That's it. All right. Let's see what we got up here. All right. And yes, food in this game is very important. All right, so I'll probably eat that. Wanna bite? Whew. Yeah, that's not lovely at all. The radiation is a big threat in here. I love it. Radiation back in the other fallouts was just kind of a meh. Not sure what all the fighting is about, but uh, definitely sounds like it. Uh, oh! I miss those guys so bad. Alright. Definitely loving the combat in this. Take a free one money. really need to figure out what's it. Uh, all that gunfire is. Alright. <laughs> Back to the pistol. trying to flank me, isn't he? Clever little ghoul. But then again, it could just be his AI bugging out. Huh? I'm loving the dismemberment feature. This is the part of the job that I love. Civilian in the perimeter. Check your fire. Vaporize. Kill them all. No 
mercy! For the Brotherhood! Oh, I got the bad paladin. Wow. Target eliminated. <clears throat> Try anything, and I'll cut you down. I wasn't trying anything. Halen, thanks for lending us a hand. Hey there. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Uh... I'm just trying to survive out here. Like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals? I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I helped you fight those ferals. This would be much easier for both of us if you'd cooperate. Now, right. where are you from? I'm from Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. I'll continue to help, but you owe me an explanation first. Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Who are the Brotherhood of Steel? Our order seeks to understand the nature of technology, its power, its meaning to us as humans. And we fight to secure that power from those who would abuse it. Your cause seems noble. I'm pleased that you agree. There are very few, outside the Brotherhood, who appreciate the gravity of the situation we're facing as a species. So, what do you say? Will you help us? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Pretty awesome. I'm helping out the Brotherhood of Steel Alan, already. Take Reese inside and bind his wounds. Yes, sir. Um, Reese, this once will... you're on your feet. This will be a stopping place. We will turn in next time.